You are here because the outside world rejects you. This is your family. Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to another Turtles Updates video where we talk about all sorts of TMNT news that has dropped since our last updates video. And there's a lot this time around. So we're gonna waste no time and jump right in. Remember, if you're new to the channel, go ahead, hit subscribe, follow on all the social media pages. Links are down below in the description, but let's go ahead and dive right on in. All right, so story number one, we're gonna take a look at some of the programming for Comic-Con, look at all the different TMNT panels that are gonna be there. And we're looking at this over here on the official San Diego Comic-Con website. The first one up is Friday, July 22nd at 1.30 p.m. And this is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the original film still mutating after 32 years. This one has the producer of the original TMNT 90s trilogy, Kim Dawson, as well as writer of the original movie, Bobby Herbeck. Also included on the panel will be VP and senior director of product development over at NECA, Randy Falk, and filmmaker and director Sam Rocco, who made The Fall of Casey Jones, proof of concept film. I will be hosting this one, so go check it out if you're at Comic-Con. But let's take a look at the next TMNT panel that will also be there. And this is also on Friday at 3.15, and it appears to be for the TMNT Cowabunga Collection video game. It looks like the panel will have Charles Murakami, who appears to be the TMNT The Cowabunga Collection senior producer from Konami. It also has Chris Kohler, editorial director from developer Digital Eclipse and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles co-creator Kevin Eastman to discuss TMNT's Konami gaming past and present. That sounds like a really good one. Uh, the next one is on Saturday and this one seems to revolve around the comics. It appears to start at 10 a.m. and it's TMNT Secrets of the Roninverse and the Armageddon game. The description reads, with the critically acclaimed The Last Ronin having reached its census shattering conclusions, fans have been left reeling with one burning question, what's next? TMNT co creator Kevin Eastman, Tom Waltz, Ben Bishop, Eric Burnham, and moderator Charles Beecham tease what's next for the Roninverse. And it looks like they'll also be talking about some of the stuff going on in the next big story arc of the main comic book story that'll be titled The Armageddon Game. So that sounds like a really cool panel. Hopefully I can check that one out. But I looked at the rest of the schedule. I don't think I saw any more Ninja Turtles panels for the event. Any news that comes out of Comic-Con, I'll definitely cover it here on the channel. But let's move on over to the next story. All right, next story, speaking of the comics, we got more looks at the turtle clones that they keep teasing for the main storyline of the IDW Turtles comics, the ones that have gone past 100 issues and are still going. And yeah, judging by some of these new covers that have been revealed, it does look like these turtle clones will also work their way into the Armageddon game TMNT comic event somehow as well. Real briefly, for those who don't know, that is a eight part comic event that's going to be coming out in September, although the prequel comics the Armageddon game opening moves have already started. And I would suggest picking those up. It kind of gives you a good refresher on everything that has gone down and everything that is currently going down to prepare you for when the Armageddon game event actually starts. Judging by some of the stuff they talked about in their closing remarks at the end of opening moves number one, it does look like they're planning some big stuff in this event. I don't think you guys are gonna wanna miss it, but let's go ahead and take a look at some of these new images here of the turtle clones. This one here is a cover done by Pasqual Quilano and it's for the Armageddon game number one. And you could see the turtle clones there with the white masks on, either running with or chasing Baxter Stockman. But let's move on over to the next new image of the turtle clones. This one here is for the Armageddon game number two. And we're looking at this over on Turtlepedia, by the way. And this is probably my favorite one out of the bunch art style wise. And you could see the four clone turtles with the white masks on just kind of looking down. This issue, I believe is said to come out in October. So the first one in September, the second one in October. And yeah, they just keep showing the clones here. So it makes you think, yeah, they're probably gonna be a big part of the story here. During the Armageddon game, it seems like they're also gonna bleed back on over to the regular ongoing numbered series as well as we take a look at this cover here from issue 133 which I believe also will come out in October and we're seeing this over here on previews world you can see Jenica and Donatello and they're being attacked by the turtle clones there are some synopses that have been released but I think I'm going to save them for an Armageddon game like dedicated video so keep your eye out for that. But staying on the comics, it uh, looks like the hardcover graphic novel for The Last Ronin is now out. And you can see it here in a trailer that they put together for the book that there's two different covers. You have the one by the Escorza brothers and I believe the other one is by Ben Bishop. And speaking of Bishop, if you look over on his website, you can see some skateboards that have been put up that have images of those touching scenes from the finale. So it does look like those are up for sale there. Now, last little bit of comic book news is here from IDW Publishing 
Machine, you can see a post from them here on Twitter. It says, calling all TMNT fans, Ninja Notes is back. Yes, the TMNT letters column is returning to comic book shops all over the country, and we want to hear from you. Submit your letters to letters at idwpublishing.com, and be sure to state okay to print. Awesome. So it looks like they're going to be bringing back the Ninja Notes there. So thought you guys would want to check that one out. But that's it for comics news. Let's move on over to the next story. Now, staying on the topic of The Last Ronin, this next one here made some big waves, and it comes over from the YouTube channel Speedo Kagan, and they released a Last Ronin short film that took the internet by storm. It has hit over a million views in under two weeks, and I've seen a bunch of different websites reporting on it, and I think it just goes to show the hunger the fans have for a serious live action version of the turtles this short film is a fantastic quality really well put together if you haven't checked it out go check it out the creator of the short film magnus edlin is now doing behind the scenes videos of the film you'll probably want to check those out as well but yeah i thought it was pretty cool definitely recommend it if you haven't seen it All right, let's move on to some action figure collectibles news. We're going to run through these really quick since there's a bunch to go through. We're looking at this one from over here at Toy News International. And you can see here it says the new TMNT animated Zack and Smash 2 packs are starting to arrive in people's mailboxes. And with that, we're getting a look at the back of the packaging, which reveals another TMNT animated series 2 pack that hasn't been officially announced yet. And it looks like that 2 pack is Dirk Savage and Mona Lisa. So yeah, very interesting. We'll be getting those two announced pretty soon, it seems like. All right, next, this one's coming over here from Iron Studios. It does appear that they will be making a Casey Jones 1 10th scale statue. And this thing looks pretty sweet. I think it looks fantastic. It appears it is still in the pre-order stage in that you could pre-order it for a deposit of $31.99, but that the total cost of the statue is $159.99. Uh, then it says right here that the arrival of this product is second quarter of 2023. So yeah, a little bit of a wait there, but a pretty cool statue nonetheless. All right, next one, this one's coming over here from the Twitter page of Mateus Santoluco, who is well known for working on the IDW Ninja Turtles comics. And you can see on the post here, he says, Raphael, the first of a line of figures in collaboration with Fairy Bullies Pascal and based on my designs for the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles was launched today. Go check it out worldwide shipping and then you go to the Fari Bulls website there looks like they have a French version of the site and then a US version and when you go there we can see the different photos of the statue and you can see it's just the way he draws them in the IDW comics so yeah pretty sweet to see these IDW turtles get statues like this and he says the first in the line of so yeah it looks like we will possibly get the rest of the turtles at some point it appears it is 11.8 inches in height so almost a foot high although I don't see any details on on pricing or anything like that. But when you do add it to your cart, it does appear it is $4.99 for this statue. So yeah, definitely for hardcore collectors. But yeah, super cool seeing the IDW turtles like this. But yeah, let's move on over to the next story. Welcome to Hawkins. Eleven is stronger than ever, and she'll do whatever it takes to protect her friends. Leonardo is going from uptown Manhattan to the upside down to stop TCRI's latest experiment. Hopper is on the scene, ready to take on anything that puts Hawkins in danger. Another half-shell hero comes to the rescue. It's Raphael, the master of the Psy. Get the limited edition Stranger Things Upside Down remix featuring Eleven and Leonardo and Hopper and Raphael. Pre-order now, only at Target.com. All right, so there you saw it. Looks like the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and Stranger Things got crossover two packs that you could go ahead and now pre-order on Target, it appears. And it doesn't look like they went with the same Playmates turtle molds that they've been going with with a lot of stuff. Looks like they went with these Mirage style turtles instead, which if you watch the show, it kind of makes sense. They haven't gotten to 1987 yet, I don't believe. So the Mirage turtles would be the only ones out at this point in Stranger Things. So I don't know if it was just luck or cool attention to detail, but yeah, Stranger Things Turtles 2 packs on Target, wild. All right, next, this is coming over from the Toy Arc. You can see right there, it says new Playmates TMNT box sets, villains, sewer heroes, and Toon Turts. It says right here, Australian retailer, bulletproof villain has listed 
three new Playmates Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles box sets, each come with a set of four classic figures individually carded and then boxed together. Retail varies, but they should pop around $84.99 AUD. No word on release date in US yet, but it then says check out the pictures. So you can see the boxes right there. This one's for the villains, this one's for the hero turtles, and this one's for the Toon Turtles. You can see you get Mighty Bebop, Super Don, Super Mike, Rhino Man for the Heroes Pack, and then for the Toon Turtles, you get Toon Don, Toon Leo, Toon Mike, and Toon Raph. And I didn't see any villain pictures, but the list is right here, and it says Foot Soldier, Leatherhead, Mutagen Man, and Wingnut and Screw Loose. So, although it doesn't look like they're available in the US just yet, I would guess that it's not long now till we do start seeing them in the States. But yeah, not much more on this one. Let's move on over to Super 7. Looks like they're going to be doing the whole team, all four turtles, as ultimates again, except this time they are glow in the dark and they're calling it Mutagen Ooze Glow. These do appear to be on pre order right now. For all four, it is 260, it says, and that they will be released in summer of 2023. These are the seven inch scale, highly articulated TMNT ultimates. Not much more else to say on this one. Uh, it does look like the belts uh, are the individual color of each turtle, so that's pretty interesting. But yeah, that's it for this one. Uh, let's move on over to some loyal subjects figures. Looks like they're going to be having some Comic-Con exclusives. First up, they have these Ninja Turtles Fresh from the Shadows figures, and you can see them there, and they're all this dark shade of blue, almost as if they were in a nighttime setting in a black and white comic, and you can see the box there in all four turtles. And then there's these ones here as well, which is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Villains 2-pack, and it looks like you get Shredder, Comic Shadow, and a Foot Elite, and they both seem to be that blue shadow tint as well to go along with the turtles. We're looking at this over here from the SDCC unofficial blog, and I don't see too much more details about them, but looking over on GameStop, it looks like the four turtles, at least on there, look to be selling for $19.99. And as for the Shredder and the Elite Guard, I couldn't find too much info on them, so I'm not sure if those will be exclusively at the con, but yeah, that's all the info out on them. Yeah, that's it for all the updates. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. There's going to be a lot of stuff to talk about after Comic-Con, so do expect more videos in the coming days. Can't wait to talk about everything I hear and see being there at the con. Thanks everybody for watching. Hit subscribe if you're new. Follow on all the social medias. Links are down below in the description, and I will see you guys in a little bit with another video. Take care. Um.